Hello everyone, this is the last topic from third module. In this lecture, we will discuss the Dirac delta function and the Laplace transform of Dirac delta function. Before defining the Dirac delta function, we can discuss unit impulse function. The unit impulse function is denoted by delta A of t minus t naught and is defined by 0 for t in the interval 0 to t naught minus A. 1 by 2a for t in the interval t0 minus a to t0 plus a and 0 for t greater than or equal to t0 plus a. That is the unit impulse function delta a of t minus t0 is defined by 1 by 2 minus a for t in the interval t minus t0 minus a to t0 plus a. In this interval, the value of this unit impulse function is 1 by 2a and 0 elsewhere. That is the uh, unit impulse function. This graph will be like this. For 0 to t0 minus a, we have this is 0 and t0 minus a to t0 plus a, it is 1 by 2a. This quantity is 1 by 2a. This point is 1 by 2a. And for t greater than or equal to t0 plus a, it is 0. So this is the graph of the uh, unit impulse function this function is called a unit impulse function because it possesses the unit area that means the integral from 0 to infinity delta a of t minus t naught dt equal to 1 that is if we integrate this function from 0 to infinity we will get integral of this function will be the area under this curve that is this region this will be the area that is, this is the, the integral will be that area, the quantity of that area. That means that means this this is this length is one by two a and this length is two a. It is because the distance from t naught minus a to t naught plus a that is two a. So we have this area will be one by two a into two a. This is equal to one. Or if you are just integrating this function from zero to infinity, that then also will get uh, unit area. That is why the name unit impulse function. Now we can talk about the Dirac delta function. Actually, the Dirac delta function is also a unit impulse and it is denoted by delta of t minus t naught and it is the limiting case of the unit impulse function delta a of t minus t naught. That is, the Dirac delta function delta of t minus t naught is the limit a tends to 0 delta a of t minus t naught. So if we apply this limit that is a tends to 0 on this unit impulse function we will get this. We have this is the graph of uh, delta a of t minus t naught that is it has the value 0 uh, for t from 0 to t naught minus a and for, for t from t naught plus a to infinity and it has the value 1 by 2a uh, for t belongs to the interval t0 minus a and t0 t0 plus a. So, as a tends to in 0, that is as a tends to 0 means this t0 minus a converges to t0 and this t0 plus a also converges to t0. That is as a tends to 0, we have this point is uh, approaching to this t0. This point is approaching to this point and this point is also approaching to this point t naught as a approaches to zero. Also, what about this functional value when th uh, in this interval? This interval we have uh, the functional value that is delta a of t minus t naught for t belongs to this interval. We have one by two a. So as a tends to is zero, it will be uh, increasing. That is, as a, a tends to zero, it will be increasing to infinity. So as t naught minus a tends to t naught, or as a tends to zero these two points converges to or this tends to t naught and at, at the same time this will be increasing to infinity okay keeping the area is equal to 1 we have a, a pictorial representation of this uh, this is actually uh, t naught minus a and this is t naught plus a so as a tends to 0 that means this point will be uh, approaching to this that is first if this approaches to this point, this point approaches to this point means if a is decreasing, then uh, it will be increasing. T naught minus a is increasing to this point. So 
if this is that point and correspondingly t0 plus a uh, will be reached this point so correspondingly you will have this 1 by 2a will be here so this area is equal to this area and which is 1 if a is decreasing again then this point will be approaching to this and this will be this so correspondingly we will have this point this line will be reaches this so this area will be 1 etc so as a approaches to 0 we have this point approaches to t0 and the t0 plus a also approaches to t0 and this line or this length will be approaches to infinity so that is this property d of uh, delta of t minus t0 that is Dirac delta function is equal to infinity for t equal to t0 so for t equal to t0 the value will be this infinity and for t0 equal to t0 it is 0 actually the, the Dirac delta function is the limiting case of this function a unit impulse function okay also we have the another property of uh, uh, Dirac delta function is integral 0 to infinity delta of t minus t0 dt equal to 1 that is it preserves it the area uh, as this okay as a tends to infinity the area will be uh, preserves as 1 so we have these two properties for uh, Dirac delta function actually, actually it will be uh, obtained from this definition only now we have a theorem that is the Laplace transform of Dirac delta function for t0 greater than 0, Laplace transform of delta of t minus t0 is equal to e power minus s t0. So, to find the Laplace transform of Dirac delta function, first we can write this uh, unit impulse function delta a of t minus t0 in terms of unit sub function and will we, we will apply the Laplace transform for this function and We'll, we will apply the limit a tends to 0 to find the Laplace transform of this uh, Dirac delta function. So, we have unit impulse function is defined by this and uh, it has non-zero value only uh, if t belongs to uh, t0 minus a, t0 plus a. So, we can and, and that value will be 1 by 2a and, and the value is 0 otherwise. That is the uh, graph of uh, uh, delta a of t minus t naught that is unit impulse function so we can express this function in terms of unit sub function like 1 by 2a into u of t minus t naught minus a minus u of t minus t naught plus a this is by unit step function so we uh, represented this Dirac delta uh, unit impulse function in terms of the unit step function now we can just apply the Laplace transform of this unit impulse function that is 1 by 2a into Laplace transform of this. This is equal to 1 by 2a into Laplace transform of u of t minus t0 minus a minus Laplace transform of u of t minus t0 minus a, t0 plus a. Now we have Laplace transform of the unit function, unit step function u of t minus a is equal to e power minus a s divided by s. So, by using that, here we have t minus t0 minus a. Here a can be replaced by t0 minus a. So, we have 1 by 2a into Laplace transform of u of t minus t0 minus a is nothing but e power minus s a. a is here, here a is this. So, e power minus s into t0 minus a divided by s minus e power minus s into Laplace transform of this u of t minus t0 plus a here a is this so uh, minus s into a by s so taking e power minus s t0 outside we get e power s a minus e power minus s a divided by 2 s a now we have the Laplace transform of uh, t minus t0 the Dirac delta function is the we have uh, the Dirac delta function is the limiting case of the a unit impulse function so the Laplace transform of the Dirac delta function is the limiting case of the Laplace transform of the uh, unit impulse function so L of delta of t minus t0 is equal to limit a tends to 0 L of delta a of t minus t0 now we have this is nothing but e power s a uh, e power minus s t0 it can be taken outside because the limit is for a a tends to 0 so uh, limit a tends to 0 this this is e power s a minus e power minus s a divided by 2 s a. So, applying this limit, we get 
as a tends to 0 we have e power 0 minus e power 0 that is 1 minus 1 that is 0 here also 0 0 it's a 0 by 0 form so we have we can apply the L hospitals rule so by L hospitals rule we have this is limit uh, e power minus s t naught into limit a tends to 0 by L hospitals rule we have to uh, differentiate both numerator and denominator separately with respect to a so we will get uh, derivative of this with respect to a is because the limit is uh, with respect to a so here we have s e power s a minus derivative of e power minus s a with respect to a that is we get minus s into e power minus s a that is plus s into e power minus s a divided by derivative of this with respect to a that is 2 s now applying this limit we get e power minus s t naught is here and uh, as a tends to 0 we have this is s into e power 0 that is s into e power 0 plus s into e power 0 again divided by 2 s so we have this is nothing but e power minus s t naught into s e power 0 that is 1 uh, s s into 1 plus s into 1 that is 2 s divided by 2 s that is 1 so this is uh, 2s divided by 2s so we have e power minus s into t naught so we have the laplace transform of your uh, dirac delta function is nothing but e power minus s into t naught okay now we have a naught if t naught equal 0 we have l of delta of t is equal to e power minus 0 that is uh, e power 0 that is 1 so laplace transform of delta of t is equal to 